What's going on guys, my name is Suboptimal and in my last video I gave a tech talk about the metaverse, how FANG companies are investing in this space and how software engineers, specifically full stack developers, can get started. Now if you've got some time then I highly recommend watching that video but the 10 second takeaway is that in order to build a metaverse or a metaverse experience you need to be familiar with 3D coding and the best JavaScript library to get started with 3D coding is 3JS. So in this video, I'll give you guys an introduction to 3JS and 3D programming. What I'm going to do is split this talk up into five main parts. First, we're going to take a look at the history of 3D coding and how 3JS fits into that. And the rest of this talk is just going to be a ton of demos. So we're going to look at some virtual reality demos, a design company demo, some demos of like creative coding experiments, and also uh, some of my personal projects that I've been building in the past uh, two to three months of learning 3JS. And I think that will give you guys the best understanding of what 3JS is and what you can sort of do with the library. And before we get started, I'm just gonna ask for one small favor from you guys, and that is to leave a like on this video because that really does help me out for the YouTube algorithm. Cool, with that out of the way, let's get started with the history of 3D coding and 3JS. So in order to understand where 3JS comes from, let's take a step back and see how things were in 3D programming back in 2000s. That's when Xbox 360 existed, you had Nintendo DS, PlayStation 3. These were the consoles that would allow users to have 3D experiences in their homes. It was also at this point that a lot of technological innovation happened for the general population. So not just in gaming, but once the PC market started getting bigger and MacBooks were more, more and more powerful, people started asking the question, can we have 3D experiences on the web? That's when this uh, nonprofit known as Kronos Group, which was initially sort of like working on OpenGL, which stands for Open Graphics Library, said, yes, yes, you can. And they started working on web graphics library. And what this library allowed users to do is to tap into the GPU of your computer with JavaScript. Now previously, you know, most things as you might have guessed, were done with C and C++ and you know, you need to work with OpenGL or DirectX. But now WebGL allowed you to do the same thing in JavaScript. All you needed to do was have a HTML canvas element and you were good to go. This was when this person named Mr. Dube or Ricardo Cabello was working on 3JS. So basically these two things go hand in hand where 3JS was sort of the uh, JavaScript library that displayed the full capabilities of WebGL because it provided an easy API for uh, developers like us to easily make 3D experiences. So now that you guys have a brief understanding of what 3JS is and how it came into play, let's just dive into a ton of different demos where 3JS is used to create 3D experiences on the web. So the first website I want to showcase to you is that of Bruno Simon. Now Bruno is a developer who focuses mainly on 3JS, so he's a creative coder. This is his main sort of homepage and you can go to the website which I've linked down in the description and you can just play around in this car, you can move it around, you can even play some, uh, I guess, bowling here if I can just get this right, but you know, you get the idea here. This is a website built using 3JS. So the next 3JS experience that I want to showcase is Mozilla Hubs. So this is sort of like the metaverse experience that companies like uh, Facebook are trying to go towards, which is having this ability to invite people into a co-working space and just sort of talk in a 3D environment. So as you can see here, you can sort of move around here and you can invite friends to this workspace as long as they have the ID of the room. And you can also like add objects here. So here I added this shoe and I imported it and now you can like move it around and stuff like that. So this is a, a Mozilla Hubs experience that is basically built with 3JS. This is a company specifically building on top of 3JS. They're trying to build a 3D Figma. So if you're a software engineer or product manager, you probably work with Figma for design and stuff like that. So this is basically a tool like Figma, but in three dimensions. So everything here is for designers in 3D. This is an example of where 3JS is used to not just create you know, these virtual experiences, but also to build companies based on like 3D design. 
So 3.js is also used for creative coding. So if you want to make some sort of interesting art with 3.js, then you can do that. Here's an example of this person named Akello, who is another YouTuber who makes these like cool animations using 3.js. I also follow another creator, Juame Sanchez Elias, who I believe is an engineer at Google, but also makes these uh, cool creative projects on the side. These are two of the examples I want to showcase for creative coding with 3JS. All those projects that I just sort of showcased do require a little bit of in-depth understanding of specific topics in 3JS, like shaders or virtual reality. So maybe it's not something that you'd be able to build right off the bat. That's why I wanna show you guys some of my personal projects that I've basically built with almost no experience in game dev. And I just started working with 3JS two, three months ago. Recently, I made a snake game, a 3D snake game and retrofit it onto a monitor. I made a Ruby cube demo i made whirl i made a piano you know this naruto's rasengan this audio waveform visualizer so obviously it's not going to be as uh, crazy as the ones you saw in the beginning but you know you got to start somewhere and this is probably the type of projects that you can expect to make uh, when you first get started with 3js so yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully now you guys have a little bit of an understanding of what 3JS is and what you can build with it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you want to see more on 3JS, I'm going to make a ton of tutorials about this framework in the near future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.